We're going to start with a questioner who was subjected, I think, to a professor, a creep professor, who forced, foisted on him this uh, gimmick to prove that only a mystic moral faculty can understand moral issues. And he gives them two examples and shows that reason can't answer them, only mysticism. Here's the first. If five people are in an emergency room, dying, and only and, and one healthy person in the waiting room could save them all if we used his organs, is it morally permissible to do this even though he'll die? Most people say no. I agree. And the reason is, this poor one guy is entirely innocent. He's not responsible uh, for the others, and therefore there's no justification in cutting him up. Now, if he had shot them, uh, or some other way, then, yes, you could kill him. And even if it was only one person he helped out of the five, that's fine. Kill him, because he's responsible. All right, now here we get the second one. So, so far, I agree with the example, but now listen to the second one. If five people are walking along a train track, and a train is going to kill them. Is, is it morally permissible to flip a switch that would send the train to a different track, thereby killing one person and saving five? Most people say yes. See, so reason gives you yes, and reason gives you no. Now, I say no, it is morally impermissible, but for the very same reason. The one is innocent. He is doing nothing but walk down the track. As to the other five, I have a question about them. Why are they on that track? <laughs> Did they check whether it was safe? Did they check the time schedule? If they did, if the railroad authorized it, it's still not the responsibility of the innocent guy to pay. It's the responsibility of the railroad. And their relatives uh, should launch some massive suit uh, against the railroad for criminal negligence. You say, suppose it's an accident. They're not immoral. That's too bad. Accidents happen to everybody. You don't kill somebody else to make up for somebody else's accident. Somebody else's ignorance, irresponsibility, criminal negligence, or bad luck does not justify you committing murder of an innocent person. So there's no, uh, there's no uh, need for a, quote, mystical moral faculty to divine that one is yes and one is no. There's just a need for an honest uh, 